in class. Now we're going to talk about civic responsibilities. Hopefully you just watched the uh, video about civic duties. Civic duties obviously are things that we have to do. Those duties involve going to school until you're 18. When you're 18, if you're a male, registering for the draft. Everyone must follow the law. Everyone must pay taxes. And the fifth civic duty is serving jury duty if you're asked to. Those are things we have to do. Now, civic responsibilities are things that we hopefully will choose to do, things that make us better citizens, things that make us more involved in the community. And I use the word citizens, but really any community member, um, I would hope, is going to take uh, on some of these civic responsibilities. Um, they are not all uh, things that citizens only can do. Everybody should get involved and do some of these things to just make your life more fulfilled, make our communities better. So civic responsibilities, things that we should do, first of all, stay informed. Pay attention to what's happening in your community, around the country, in the world that we share together. This might mean reading the newspaper. It might mean reading uh, online versions of the newspaper or print copies, magazines, talking to neighbors in your community about what's happening locally going to city council meetings, county commission meetings, school board meetings, um, doing current events in class uh, is a great way that you can uh, practice staying informed uh, right here while you're uh, in high school. Um, and all of these things are very important because if you don't know what's happening in the world around you, it's hard, first of all, to get uh, elected officials who we want because if you don't know who uh, know what's happening, you're not going to necessarily be able to make a good choice when you end up going to vote. And more importantly, you're not going to know how to understand the news when you hear it. So if you hear someone say, such and such a country is having an economic crisis, maybe Greece is having an economic crisis, if you have been paying attention, you might know that, that is somehow going to affect the economies in Europe, and perhaps even the economies here in the United States, so you want to be informed. If you hear uh, Senator Hagan voted uh, against immigration reform, well, you need to know what immigration reform is so that you can decide whether you like or dislike the choice that Senator Hagan made. All right, next thing that is involved in your civic responsibilities is voting. Please, vote in your elections. This is the way, the most direct way, that if you're a citizen, you can tell your government what you think. You can protest, you can get involved in these sorts of demonstrations, that's very important as well. You can write letters to the editor, uh, all kinds of things you can do. But, at the end of the day, politicians listen to the people who put them in office. There are two ways that you can help put someone in office. One, vote and participate in elections or two, donate money. Most people don't have a lot of money. Unfortunately, those who do, do give a lot of money to candidates, and candidates, therefore, when they get elected, often listen just to the people who they get money from. So if you want to maximize your voice in our democracy, the best way to do that is to show up on election day and vote. And not just that, figure out candidates you like, volunteer with them, hold them accountable, when someone is in office, show up, tell them what you think while they are in office, tell them why you want them to vote for or against the immigration bill, for or against a voter ID law, for or against raising the minimum wage. Take a position on these ideas when you talk to these elected officials. Make sure that you are engaged. Third, volunteer work. There's a lot of things you can do in your community um, and across the country. Some people, when they graduate high school, join a program like AmeriCorps, which they then use to spend a couple of years giving back to a local community, um, helping in schools, helping with different youth projects. Uh, groups like Habitat for Humanity, Greenpeace, um, groups like uh, church organizations do a lot of volunteer work in the community. There's a lot of different ways that you can give back to your community through either community organizing or uh, volunteer work, and I highly recommend that you get involved in those activities. It makes us feel good. I know when I go and I give my time for things that are important, like tutoring a child or uh, 
working to help someone uh, build their home, as I've done through Habitat for Humanity. They feel good. They appreciate it. I feel good. I know I've done something worthwhile with my time. Certainly much more worthwhile than sitting back at home on my couch and watching television. Fourth civic responsibility is having respect for diversity. Um, and this is something we talk a lot about, uh, making sure that we tolerate and welcome difference. Um, and it's, it's complicated because really there's a lot more it's, uh, involved here than just accepting people. It's one thing to tolerate diversity. It's another thing to embrace it, to be curious about differences, to want to learn about each other and distinct cultures. Um, because if I, as a middle-class white man, just sit at home and I say, yeah, I'm fine with everybody, but I don't actually go out and talk with people. I don't actually go out there and work with groups of people who have backgrounds different from my own. If I don't get to know low-income people and wealthy people, I'm not going to know very much about how wealthy people think about the world and low-income people think about the world. So building those connections um, is very important to, to having a full understanding uh, of how our communities work, how our country works, and I would say that's part of staying informed as well. So these are your civic responsibilities. Uh, they go along with your civic duties and make sure that you get out into the world and do everything you can to be a participant, an active and involved participant in the community that you build with your friends, your family, your neighbors, and those others in our world that we share this space with. All right, have a good day.